YouTube. Welcome to Let's Get Into It with E and J. I'm E. And I'm J. My husband and I decided to do this podcast because we've been together for 18 years. We've been through a lot of shit, so we got a lot of shit to say. Our channel is on a different perspective on relatively hot topics of today. So basically something different. So, so let's, let's get, get into, into it. it. <laughs> this man you see here is Mr. Umar this Johnson. Right here. <laughs> It's fraudulent. I ain't got no receipt to show my damn PhD. Yes. Nigga, right so here. So I, I do not call him doctor. I give them respect of calling him Mister. Damn, nigga, you do got a master's degree, nigga. Be proud of that. Yeah, uh, there are receipts to show he has a master's, but he has hyped it up to the point where he calls himself doctor. He actually was brought up on charges by the um, board of psychology in Philadelphia, and he admitted then that he had no license. So, um, he still calls himself doctor, but, um, as far as I can see, he does not have his doctorate degree. We know Mr. Umar Johnson from the Hidden Colors documentary series. Peace to Tariq Nasheed. Yes. Tariq Nasheed was the producer of this series, and I believe he included Umar Johnson in Hidden Colors 1 and 2. Right here we see Umar in Hidden Colors 2, I believe. And Tariq Nasheed made a comment about there was a herpy on, this nigga <laughs> on Umar Johnson. And they had to keep editing yes. and putting makeup on his yeah. face and shit. <laughs> I mean, just to show the dirty character of this guy. I mean, that speaks volumes. This is a picture of Tariq Nasheed, the producer, with Umar Johnson. And at this point, I believe they were cordial. Um, even though there is a video out where uh, Tariq Nasheed says from the beginning, he seemed kind of fraudulent. Umar Johnson has written a book. It's called The Psychoacademic Holocaust of Black Boys. It's all about the ADHD uh, wars and what he calls the... Um, uh, what is it? The school to prison pipeline, and I believe yeah, that's that's a yeah, big part of his pipeline, yeah, yeah. big part of his platform. Yeah. <clears throat> and actually, this whole um, theory is fraudulent. It's false because ADHD and the war against um, black boys does not actually speak on special ed or the drugs that he talks about. The schools push on black boys to take, like Ritalin and all of the other drugs that they give for kids to pay attention. Those drugs are actually promoted more for white boys, and um, that's a fact. You can look it up. Here Umar Johnson is, um, as he calls himself, the what, most requested orator. Um, he's giving a lecture here. He does lectures, um, talks. He definitely has his podcast. He does all kinds of videos. But here he's giving a lecture. He's uh, again. I am a descendant. Yeah. It looks like he's a saying Frankie that. Douglas. Yeah, I'm a descendant. I am a descendant <laughs> of Marcus Garvey. I am descendant of Ronald McDonald. <laughs> I don't know why that nigga be yelling like he that, does, yo. He just God, screams. Damn. He's ridiculous. He is. We did have opportunity to go personally to one of his lectures he came to suffolk virginia he rented out the temple bethel church and you you've not heard him talk um shit kind of was all right though well you know? he he talks so poorly about religion and churches but he holds his lectures in churches that he spends money on he rents out their banquet halls and uh that's where he gave his speech and basically, I was not impressed. Man, he sound like your local pastor, reverend, he is, anyways. Yes, a traveling preacher. He His whole talk mostly was on ADHD. What they call him, hotep preachers? Yes, he's a hotep hustler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hotep hustler. <laughs> Here Mr. Umar Johnson is at my old alma mater. I went to St. Paul's College back in the 80s. Alma mater? Alma mater! What the hell? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Obviously, I ain't graduated. <laughs> but, <laughs> you said that. I ain't okay, said that. Okay, all right. <laughs> but he was attempting to buy this this school. Um, he's going to call, he wants to open a school for black boys, and that's a problem within itself because he's not going to be admitting anything but black boys which right. will fail at, yes. at its premise as soon as you go through the yes. state board yes 
uh, discrimination all day and is I don't against know why the law. Ain't nobody, nobody's talking about that. That's uh, said anything alternative to perspective. That, yeah, nobody's that's, questioning this shit. Yeah. Come on, B. That's that's because we um, focus on the alternative perspective. He wants to call this school FDMG, which stands for Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy for Boys. That's another thing that's going to stop him. He cannot continue to use Frederick Douglass's name. Hit the Frederick Douglass Foundation is made up of actual Frederick Douglass descendants. They have come out publicly and, and sent said the uh, niggas, yeah, him and his father yes, is no part of their family. He sent though. they sent a certified letter stating to Umar Johnson to please cease and desist using their relative's name. He is not a descendant of Frederick Douglass. I guarantee you you can go on YouTube right now and watch a video where he says, I am a descendant of Frederick Douglass. He just likes Marcus Garvey. He doesn't claim a descendant of him. I am a descendant! Yeah. <laughs> Of Frederick Douglass. Yeah. <laughs> I am a descendant of Marcus Garvey. This nigga's a clown. He though. is. He, he is a mess. Well, he absolutely did not buy the St. Paul's College. Um, He actually lied about that. I don't know if you saw the Roland Martin interview where he was on that show. That nigga was arguing up there. Right. Lost all his professionalism. He did. He did. But uh, he did not buy the St. Paul's School. And at the time of the Roland Martin interview, St. Paul's College was not sold. And he actually said on that interview that it was sold. So and he wouldn't have had enough money to buy the shit because they wanted like $4 million for the shit. Right. Exactly. But initially, Anyways. his campaign was to um, raise $2 million. That's what he started with. But didn't get it. He actually collected $750,000. At least that's what he says. I believe Umar collected way more than that. And that nigga been traveling all over the fucking world. All over the world. Over in Japan, taking salt baths and shit. He was, Titties all out. He was, he was. He was in the UK saying that he was going to open up a school in Manchester. He goes all around the world just lying. Talking about, I'm going to open up a school here. If he's over here, I'm over the school there. Wherever he's at, he says he's going to open the school all there. All I know is, I don't know how he going to get out of this jam. Yeah. I don't even know why he went, went this route yeah. right here. Yeah, you know, because... This shit, like, yeah. how you how you going to come back right. from this, B? Eventually, you're going to have to produce a school. This shit, like, you, you ain't going to win with this no, one. No, not at all. Well... As you suspected, mm, mm, mm. his shenanigans started falling apart right here. Mm, mm, mm. This young lady has gained the name the Conscious Stripper. Call that nigga out. Umar Johnson was conducting, well, no, he wasn't conducting. He was being interviewed, I think, for Sonetta TV or some uh, uh, YouTube channel. Well, <clears throat> Umar Johnson decided to say on this channel, in this interview, that he was celibate. Well, immediately, this young lady decided to get on Twitter and all other social media and call this man out, saying, absolutely not, is he celibate? He been with me the whole weekend. Getting my cookie. Yes, the cookie. She actually produced tweets between her and Uma talking about, send me pictures of that cookie. Let me see that ass before I get up in the morning. Let yams. me see. That's what I see. Let I need, me see them meats. I, I need the yams. I need abundance of buns. <laughs> Let me see them meats. <laughs> 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 yes, and of course, this woman was a stripper. Mm, now, mm -hmm. if you know anything about Umar Johnson's platform, he actually has given talks about thoughtish personality disorder. But look at this nigga face. It <laughs> look like he up to no good. <laughs> he look know? like he been caught. <laughs> this nigga look shysty. He looked scamish. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't even know that if that's a word. A part of his that. school, and he, he says the school is for boys, but he has come out publicly saying, if you come to my school, you can't have no weave. I thought you, um, girls can come too. No, the school is for boys. This is an all-boys school. So why he saying a boy can't have weave? I, exactly. That's what I mean. He, I thought this, girls can't come. <clears throat> no. Uh-uh. <coughs> no. It's a boys school. No. I could have swore he said girls can come no, too. No, this is an all-boys school. No girls. But he does talk about you cannot come to his school with a perm or a weave. And this lady, I don't know if you can see with this picture, but she has a both of them. She got a perm, a weave, Is some blonde. That's yes, really that's her. her. That's her. She don't look like the, the other picture. Yes, because her hair is down. The other okay. picture, she got a big ponytail. No, that's her. 
Well, here we have Mr. Omar Johnson uh, at his absolute this worst. On the cake for yes, me. this I man. I really stopped fucking with him. Yes. When he did this You can video. tell from, if you see this, you can go straight to this video. It's still up. This was like maybe, what, two, two years, years ago? ago. <clears throat> he um, decided that he was going to take charge of the black conscious community and tell everyone else that participates in the community that they needed to come and be involved in a tribunal with the elders because the uh, people in the uh, black conscious community is out of hand and they need to be regulated by the elders. Well, this young man here in the uh, corner, General Sarah Sutton made a video saying, I don't know who you think you are, but you don't tell me what to do, and now I'm gonna fuck your tribunal. I'm not coming to no meeting with the elders. You go to the meeting with the elders, and basically just told him to kiss his ass. Basically like, nigga, you ain't the leader. Yes, you don't tell me what to do. what the fuck we do over here. So then, Mr. Omar Johnson got on the internet and put on his scully cap and stood up and beat his chest like he was gonna do something. Oh, that ain't even really a really, yo, he got a, the ball shit. Yeah. Just, Top, yo. <laughs> he got on his Christmas hat. <laughs> At least you could have put on a ski mask no. or some shit. <laughs> well, here, take take a listen to what Umar had to say about Seti. Don't talk about the parent association. I'm going to deal with Papa Smurf. I'm going to deal with that little Papa Debbie. Smurf? <laughs> I heard you albino. Albino? <laughs> <I'm laughs> <I'm gonna laughs> we ain't getting away with that shit. You should have never came for me, man. I never fucked with your little dirty, broke ass. Oh, my God. <laughs> This ain't no WWF nigga. Who the fuck is you the conscious Hulk Hogan? You the conscious Hulk Hogan? Papa Smurf? Who the fuck is you look like tattoo from Fantasy Island? No, oh my man. god. Who the fuck is you? Randy Macho Man and Seti Savage? You's a fucking nut, nigga. You's a you fucking nut, nut, nigga. nigga. <laughs> talks about your superiority complex yes this is a perfect example of narcissism in yeah. my opinion you think you are going to rule over grown people these are grown people you can't talk to them like that you first of all you cannot set up a mandatory meeting where nobody else is involved in the preparation of it except you even the elders was not involved this yeah. man's crazy I'm tripping, B. so Next, we have the anti-Afro Svengali. This lady is a professional uh, family therapist. She got hold of the fact that um, Uma Johnson is pretending to be a psychologist. I don't know if I even mentioned that. He says he has six degrees, and one of them is in psychology. He has his doctorate in psychology, so he calls himself a doctor. Okay, first of all, just because you have a doctorate in a, uh, a certain field doesn't make you a doctor. You have to have a license to practice, to be a doctor. Uma Johnson has neither. He doesn't have his doctorate, and he has no license. He actually admitted he doesn't have a license. So the anti-Afro Spengali has made it her mission in life to expose this fraud because he is... Uh, fraudulently practicing in her profession. And uh, when her videos come on, she be like, anti-Afro anti Spengali. She do it too, right in the beginning. <laughs> That's my bitch. I love her. <laughs> she is awesome because she come with receipts. She put out actual court dates. She had the court documents. Every time Umar Johnson was dragged into court because he does not pay his child support. And I think he uh, started threatening Shorty. Yeah, too. he did. He, he sent his goons, the imaginary goons, over to try and find her. She does not put out her real name. And, of course, she doesn't let her address be known. He tried. To, he actually went to a spot that was not her place and, and uh, uh, addressed some people. And they were like, who are you? What are you talking about? We don't anti nothing. That's not us. <laughs> so he has actually um, tried his best to find out who she is because he's going to do something to her. And she says, bring it because all I'm going to do is call the police on your raggedy ass because they're looking for you anyway. So she has documents not only about his child support, she has pulled up his criminal record. Omar Johnson has been arrested for having cocaine in his possession. That nigga snort cocaine. I, he's been arrested. Come on.
come on now, come put on. That vial on that credit card. That's why he and go he, to the corner and <laughs> because he he he's not thinking clearly. This whole scheme of this school is never going to work. You're never going to open up a school when you don't have the credentials. You first of all, you owe back child support. You have tax liens. Anything in your name is going to be confiscated. But my thing is though, people is following this nigga with the school, and this nigga never opened up a school. He Ever. Never had no type of uh, business no, uh, this, at uh, all. magnitude he, at all. He claims but to be a principal. Is, but you giving your money towards this nigga who ain't got no experience? No, and he's not showing any credentials at all. He hasn't even shown his master's degree, which I think he does have because we looked it up. It says all the way to the point where he has a master's. There are, there are videos out about that that actually prove that he has his master's degree. But he hasn't even shown it. He hasn't even proven he's been to a college. Omar Johnson is a fraud allegedly what kind of man yes exactly but the Sven Gollis is all over him she brought out his criminal record he's been um arrested for trespassing when he's pretending to be in these schools and not supposed to be in there that's why if you watch his videos when he was looking for a school he's always looking around because he done snuck in <laughs> he ain't supposed to be in there that nigga breaking it into he it. breaking it in. damn shame and you giving him your money and you gonna send your children to him well give us some goddamn money okay Okay. All right. <laughs> well, all of these shenanigans has called caused Umar Johnson to be banned from most social platforms. He used to use PayPal um to accept donations. They banned him. PayPal. 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 To schedule his uh, speaking. His Eventbrite was legit because that's yeah. where I got our tickets from. Yes, before when but came to they banned him. He can't use Eventbrite no more because he scheduled events and then canceled them and would not get the money back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did he that. did that. Did do that. Well, then there was GoFundMe where I think he collected most of the money for the school, but they had banned him there because he never opened up school. Well, not only did they ban him or shut down his page, they started refunding donations. Mm. So that means if you donated to Omar fucking Johnson, you could get your money back. Well, guess what? At that point, after 10 years of pretending, I'm going to open a school. I'm going to open a school in Chicago. I'm going to open a school in Detroit. I'm going to open a school in Pennsylvania. I'm going to open a school in Virginia. What? He opened a school. He ain't open shit. Nah, he no, ain't open no school. He, they, he says he bought a building in Wilmington, Delaware. That was way back in February of 2019. And this nigga is from Philly, which is only like 40 minutes from Wilmington. This man went to Japan. He been to the UK. I know (laughs) Philly got fucking schools right there. Of course there are schools that you could Why you go way out of state? Well, first of all, why was you traveling the country? If you were just going to go right here to Delaware, 40 minutes from your house. You bought this broke down, raggedy ass school that's done been closed. And I, um, there are videos that say that it was closed because the water in that area is contaminated. That's why the school closed initially, mm. uh, allegedly. But um, what is this? You had $750,000. This is the best you could do. And this school is broken down and dilapidated. Not too long ago, Umar Johnson took a crew of people in this school with him. Umar Johnson had not like even that. turned the lights on. No lights. Then ain't nobody have on no steel toe shoes. No, he's liable. No hard hats and shit. People was tripping over stuff. I'm um, knocking down because they can't see. He's talking about turn your flashlight on on your phone. Oh my Johnson is a mess. Yeah. But he Read he claims thing, he's going to renovate the school. He made the announcement that he had purchased the school. He said, I got the keys. I got the keys. He ain't got no keys. He has to let the realtor come and open the door for him. Because this school is not sold. He ain't even picked up the fucking trash in the front right Okay, there. right. There's a piece of trash right, right there. Well, goddammit, it's May 5th. Today is May 5th. Umar Johnson bought the school, allegedly, in February. And when he said the shit opened? It's supposed year, to open August, August 21st, 2019 for a, a walkthrough. I don't, and you know what's so crazy about that date? Because that's his fucking birthday. That's his birthday. Right? He says that everything going to happen on August 21st. That nigga is crazy. <laughs> everything going to happen that day. Yeah, well, <laughs> um, is this, this is what we're dealing with now. Um, it's because of GoFundMe returning the money to donators that he had to be sort of trying to make himself look legitimate. So he calls himself buying a school. 
And I don't know whether they're still giving out uh, refunds or not, but maybe it's halted the process because he says he's got a school well, that he can produce. What it was, though, is because if GoFundMe is giving out refunds, see, then they're going to come after his ass. No doubt. Because it's coming out of their pocket. Exactly. So they got to recoup all that. And you know they have access to where, wherever the money was being deposited for the donations. That's his bank account. They can take money from there. Even though I'm sure he will run. Umar Johnson is not going to give that money back because it's gone. Umar Johnson money went up his nose. <laughs> and on them thoughts. <laughs> The tightest personality disorder yeah. chicks. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm. Well, we have this sad individual. <laughs> yeah, it like he just snorted some shit yeah. in this one. Look at that. <laughs> that. That's a cocaine snorting look right there. <laughs> okay. He does. He looks disheveled. He looks homeless. Because he is homeless. He does not have a permanent address. Yeah, like he just woke up and ain't take no shower. Yep. He looked musty. And put that hat on. <laughs> But he's still asking for money. He says he needs one million dollars for renovations. A <laughs> million dollars would not clean up that yard. Yeah, he's tripping with that shit. Yes. They want niggas to work for free. And yes, he says he needs your yeah, time and labor. Jehovah Witnesses, yo. Yes. We ain't passing out no. watch towers no. and waste for free. We're not working for free. No. <laughs> we need your time and your labor. No. He wants a black construction company. And, okay, first of all, if there is a black construction company, all black owned, all black um, labor, these people are struggling, and you know that. How in the world they can afford to give free time and labor? And on top of that, materials. Okay. Yeah, where the come materials going to come from, Omar? You going to buy the materials and they just going to put it together and work? You can't get everything from a dollar store. No. <laughs> you can't. Exactly. Yeah. I, in, in, in closing with this, I, I don't think Omar Johnson has bought a school. I don't think Omar Jackson, Johnson has a doctorate. I don't think Omar Johnson has ever been a principal. I think Omar Johnson is a fraud. He's a whole tap hustler. I think that he has convinced people with that mouthpiece that he's going to do something for the black community. Yeah, he's a hustler. And everybody somehow still believes that after 10 years, there is um, documents, proof and evidence on Twitter, other social media, where he started taking donations in 2009. That's 10 years of this fuckery. It's shit, foolishness. He done been to Africa like fucking two He go to Africa dollars. every year. Every damn year. Yeah, guess, shit ain't cheap guess, how, guess, guess how? Guess how? Your $10, your $20 donation, send him to Africa every year. He supposedly runs a trip, I, I've heard. And he takes um, children and other people with him. I wouldn't trust my dog with Umar Johnson. He's a, a fraud, a hustler, and he's kind of crazy. He's super weird. That rant with Seti, right away, no, this man is not a professional. No psychologist would ever come out like that. You fucking nut. <laughs> you albino <laughs> nigga. <laughs> he Yo, peace to Seti, man. Yes, to Seti and Pharaoh. We love both of them. Excellent people. Well. If you enjoyed our video today, please like, like subscribe, subscribe, comment, comment and, and share. share. We would really appreciate no it. No doubt, please. You have been listening to Let's Get Into It with E and J. Bye. Bye. Bye, bitch. <laughs> <laughs>